All right, testing Gemini. Here we go. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? All right, I see you've added a palm tree to the drawing. Change it up with some beachy vibes. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about Google Gemini, a new and powerful artificial intelligence model that can understand not just text, but also images, videos, audio, and code. As a multimodal model, Gemini is described as capable of completing complex tasks in math, physics, and other areas, as well as understanding and generating high quality code in various programming languages. What is Google Gemini? Google Gemini is a set of large language models that leverage training techniques from AlphaGo, such as tree search and reinforcement learning. Uh, it's intended to become Google's flagship by powering many products and services within the Google portfolio. Uh, Gemini is the successor Palm 2, which was the previous generation of Google's LMs. How does it work? Google uh, Gemini works by using a novel architecture that combines two key components. A uh, multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder. The multimodal encoder is responsible for processing the input data from different modalities and extracting the relevant features and representations. The multimodal decoder is responsible for generating the output data in the desired modality and format based on the input data and the prompt of the encoder and the decoder are connected by a shared latent space, which is a high dimensional vector that captures the semantic and contextual information of the input and the prompt the encoder and the decoder are trained jointly using a large scale multimodal data set, which consists of millions of examples of text, images, audio, video data, along with their corresponding labels and annotations. So what are the benefits of Google Gemini? First, it can handle open-ended and creative prompts, such as generating stories based on images or writing captions for videos. Second, it can adapt to different styles and preferences, such as generate humorous or poetic responses or creating personalized recommendations. Third, it can access more information and insights from different sources of data, such as finding answers to complex questions or summarizing long documents. What are the limitations of Google Gemini? First, it can be slow to generate outputs due to its large size and complexity. Second, it can sometimes generate outputs that are not accurate or relevant to the input or the prompt due to its lack of common sense or world knowledge. Uh, what are Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, and Gemini Nano? Google Gemini comes in three variants, each optimized for specific tasks and use cases. They are uh, Gemini Ultra, the largest and most capable model for highly complex tasks, such as solving math problems, generating code, or creating art. Uh, Gemini Ultra has 1.5 trillion parameters and can handle well, the barrel inputs and outputs. Gemini Ultra is the first model to outperform human experts on MMLU, massive multitask language, understanding one of the most popular methods to test the knowledge and problem solving abilities of AI models. Gemini Pro, the best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks, such as answering questions, summarizing documents, or generating captions. Uh, Gemini Pro has 500 billion parameters and can handle text and image inputs and outputs. Gemini Pro is the model that uh, powers Google Bard, the chatbot that can have natural conversations with users on various topics. Gemini Nano, the most efficient model for on-device tasks, such as creating recommendations, generating notifications, or providing feedback. Gemini Nano has 100 million parameters and can handle text inputs and outputs. Gemini Nano is designed to run directly on mobile devices yeah. without requiring internet connection or cloud computing. Comparison with other model, ChatGP4 is a multimodal that is trained on a large data set. This model is able to generate creative images that are both diverse and expressive, but it is not as capable as Google Gemini. Our Google Gemini is compared to ChatGP4 in terms of their performance across different benchmarks, uh, their capabilities across different domains, three, their availability through different APIs, et cetera. Google Gemini is the most advanced and versatile model among them as it can handle text, images, audio, video, and code inputs and outputs and create rich and diverse responses that are relevant and coherent. Google Gemini can also handle open-ended and creative prompts and adapt to different styles and preferences. Google Gemini is powered by Google's flagship eye, which leverages training techniques from AlphaGo. Um, Google Gemini is a very impressive artificial intelligence model that can understand not just text, but also images, videos, audio, and code. 
It has the potential to revolutionize many products and services within Google's portfolio as well as beyond. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video formative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on technology and AI. How to pronounce the word Lunar January in Chinese? Option A, Zheng Yue. Option B, Zheng Yue. Which one is correct? Which tongue is the correct tongue for the first character? Option A, the first character is pronounced with the first tone.